थ्री फाइव जा फिफ्टीन फाइव सो फिफ्टीन इज इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू फाइव इंटू वन अंडरस्टूड सो एच सी एफ ऑफ ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी वन फिफ्टीन इज इक्वल टू which is common in all only one is common and this is common so 3 into 1 3 so this is not your answer this is not your answer lcm of 12 21 15 their hcf Into two, into two, into seven, into five. Three two is a six. Six two is a twelve. Twelve five is a sixty. Into seven, four hundred twenty. So, this is your answer. Which one is your answer? This one. So possibility came in the year two thousand twenty one. Understood? How can find out HCF and LCM of more than two numbers? Question number eight given. What's given? Question based on assertion and reason. This is the question given. This is its reason given. The number five and cannot be end with the digit zero when n is a natural number. So five power n. So what are its factor? This one into five power n. So to need unit digit near zero, so we need this two into five power n. Understood? So five power one taking five, five power two taking twenty five, five power three taking one hundred twenty five. Five four one six hundred twenty five. All were five five. When possible, when two at least one time two and five are factor of that number. But what's the factor of it? One and five. It's what one and five. Understood and twenty five we can say one and five and what twenty five. One hundred twenty-five. So two are not. So it's meaning your statement one is right. Statement one is right. So statement first is true. Statement one is true. Prime factorization of five has only two factor one and five. One and five. So, what are factor of five? Five are factor one and five, definitely. But one is a prime number. But one is not a prime number. One is not a prime number. But here written prime factorization. So only five is the prime factor of five. So it means statement one is true. Statement two. Statement two is not understood. Prime factorization of five has only two factor one and five. Got it. This came in the year two thousand twenty two twenty three in the board exam. So it means statement one is true. Statement two is what? Not true. It's meaning false. So you can check which one is your answer. A is not your answer. B is not your answer. So in saying C, statement one is true and statement two is false. So what's your answer? C. Understood. And what's one more thing? Prime factorization of five has only two factor one and five. So here not contain two. So definitely that. So you can understood this. Next, 